Hey guys, William with Create Studio. In this video, we're gonna talk about our VSL Creator. Now, VSL Creator stands for Video Sales Letter. All right, so now what a video sales letter is, think of it like a video-based pitch designed to convert viewers into customers, right? So we're gonna create one from scratch so that maybe you can use it and it may be able to help your business out down the line. All right, so I'm on the main page here in Create Studio 4, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on VSL Creator. Now, the first thing you do is we're gonna start with our script creation. Now I've already gone through and I've answered some of these questions and created this kind of uh, generic fake VSL that we're going to create. Um, so questions one through three is you got to answer, you know, who is your target audience? So for this one, it's for me, it's online course creators and digital marketers struggling to create high converting video sales letters, right? The second question is what is the biggest pain point or problem they want to solve? So I put, they struggle to create engaging VSLs that convert viewers into paying customers. And then of course, the third one is what is causing this problem to exist in the first place? And I can explain, you know, lack of video editing skills, poor script structure, and not knowing how to use the right tools um, effectively, right? So then it gets, once you get questions one through three answered, go down to questions one through four. And of course, it's how do you solve this problem or how does this problem stop your audience from reaching their goal, you know, without effective VSL, you know, resulting in low sales, right? Work your way down the questions, um, create a name. Uh, what is the name of your unique solution? I called it VSL Mastery with Create Studio 4, kind of incorporating this into our tutorial here, right? Um, how does your unique solution help reach their goals, right? So as this tutorial walks them through creating a high, uh, high converting VSL step-by-step -step using Create Studio 4, which makes it easy for beginners and professionals alike, right? And then you have an optional to add any real testimony you wanna add in there to kind of reinforce that. Um, so I just kind of created one, you know, after using this method, my VSL conversion rate jumped from two to 8%. I saw a massive increase in sales, right? So you can see how you're building this video sales letter and how it's building credibility, and then also um, creating a genuine feel for your product or business and service that you provide, which is really cool. All right, so once you've got those questions answered, go ahead and click next, and here is where it's gonna generate that script for us, right? So all those questions I just answered, it's compiling a video script um, on the fly, which is really cool. So here's how it starts, right? So why do online course creators struggle to create high converting video sales letters, right? So then it works my way through, and of course I can come in here, I can add more text if I want by clicking the plus button, right? I can add another line um, or I could come in here and edit the lines of text. Maybe I didn't want it to say um, it's more than just a lack of video editing skills. I could change that and rearrange the phrasing if I wanted to. Um, so again, that's a really cool way to go about it. Um, and you work your way down, make sure everything's good and, and the way you want it to read. And then you go ahead and click next. And from here we have the voiceover selection. Right, so here's where you can choose, do you want a male or a female voice? So from here, I can just peruse through. I'm not interested in age. Kind of scroll through here, uh, try a different voice I here. I believe that we are fundamental. Right, so depending on what you're looking for, you can then um, create some favorites by selecting on the heart icon. See, I already have a few selected up there. And then you can navigate to the female voices too. So you can preview here. If you spend your whole life waiting for or choose this one in three words i can sum up everything i've learned all right and then you can show your favorites here so here's all my favorite female voices and here's all my favorite male voices right so again we can um uncheck show favorites and it goes back to our main um, categories between male and female right so again let's just go ahead and choose uh let's see who sounds good here level trust a few do a single rose can be my guard. let's go ahead and choose chris here i'm going to go ahead and select him right there with selected and now you can go ahead and hit next and here's where you can choose music, right? So we can go corporate, we can go cinematic, indie, hip hop, right? So this one, let's kind of give it like an indie feel. I don't know what that's gonna sound like uh, per se, but um, we can always change that out later if we don't like it. Or if you just don't want any music period, you can select on music and then we can click on next. All right, here's where we choose our preset style. So for the text, how do we want it to look like? We want gradients, motion gradients, smooth shapes, or just keep it simple. Um, let's go ahead and choose this. Uh, let's do motion gradients, right? Let's try that out. And then we will go ahead and generate our project. So now Creative Studio 4 is generating my project based off of all those questions I answered, um, as well as the other prompts that it needed from music um, to our voiceover. And so once it's done, we'll take a look at what that looks like. All right, so now we have a generated project, a nice um, created VSL. So let's go ahead and press play and see what that looks like. Why do online course creators struggle to create high converting video sales letters? For many, it's more than just a lack of video editing skills. It's the frustration of pouring hours into a VSL that just doesn't convert, watching potential customers slip away and feeling the sting of wasted ad spend. The real problem, it's not what you think. It's not just about the tools. 
All right, so you can see it's it's pretty powerful, right? So it quickly built this out. It created some speech for us, added music, um, and then it's got these different graphics behind it, right? Um, so now let's go ahead and dive in and see how you can swap out some of these elements to kind of customize it even more or to make edits and things for things you may not like. All right, so if we go in here in our timeline and I kind of, kind of zoom in a little bit, at the top layer is all of our text, right? So for example, let's just, just hover over this guy and let's select it. What I can do is I can come in here and I can change um, the text if I want to, or I could select everything in here. I could change the font to different styles here. I go here, um, I go to this tone again. Uh, let's go to Fredoka here. And then we can also change the weight. So whether I want it to be regular, well, this font only allows regular, but you could change to bold, semi-bold, that type of thing. We could change the alignment. I can make everything here capital, which maybe that's what I want to do. And of course, the biggest thing in here is I could select everything and I could change the color, right? So maybe I want this to be white instead. Um, you can do that as well. So again, those are your text options. So if you wanted to change different um, text prompts that pop up for the specific scenes there, you could do that, right? Which is really cool. All right, now let's talk about the backgrounds. So say, for example, I'm going through and I want to swap this whole entire background out, this orange one for just this specific spot. I want to show um, something a little bit more um, specific. So I want to show something video related. So I'm going to go and select this clip here, this background. And you'll see under the settings, you'll, it has a replace option. And I can either replace with video or I can replace with image. So I'm gonna select replace with image. And then I've got this um, video editor um, image that I got from our Pexels and Pixabay libraries. And so again, if you don't know about those, you can go to Pexels here. And I've already got video editing typed in here, but I could delete it if I wanted to. You could search up whatever you want and then download it. And then it will appear in your media, right? So then I can come over here, select on that clip there. And now replace that orange background with my video editing clip, right? So I can come in here and I can actually adjust this. Maybe I want to show more of this. So the pink is behind the text, so it pops. Um, but then I do have the option as well to come up here and I could change the font for my text if I want it to pop off screen even more, which is really cool. All right, so there's different ways you can replace backgrounds. Um, you can also come over here. So these are, these are solid color um, backgrounds here. You can come in here, select these. You could change the color of these guys, right? So you can change the hue. Maybe I want it to be a little lighter, not as dark. You can make those changes there or choose the color that you want based off of your, um, maybe your, your branding has different specific colors and you want it to match. That's where you can go in there and tweak it even more. All right, so underneath that, we have our speech. So this is our dialogue. Um, so we can come in here and we could actually create captions if we want to from these. So I can come down here, maybe select speech 14. Um, and then I could then, come over to my settings and A, you can either bring the volume down if it was too loud. Um, if you wanted to create fade-ins, you could do that from there as well. But I could generate captions based off of that clip. And of course I could choose the language from a media, choose English, since that's what my project has. And then here it then created those um, captions for me, right? And of course I could then choose uh, to, to different uh, styles of the captions, right? From there, change the fonts or go and edit those captions as well from there. So again, lots of different options to choose from when you're working with VSLs. It just depends on what you want. But again, Create Studio 4 can quickly create all this stuff for you on the fly, which is very impressive and very fast. All right, so again, under that is our music. So if you don't want music, you can delete it um, or you can increase the volume here as well. Right now it's at 10%, but you can adjust that, make it louder fit, to fit the mix. Right. And again, if you didn't want that track, you could select it in the timeline, hit delete on the keyboard, and then come over here to our music and then navigate down to all the different music options that we have. Right. If you wanted to add effects, you could do that as well. Um, but there's um, many different options that you can do inside of Create Studio 4. All right. So that is how we can work with VSL inside of Create Studio 4. Hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of this. Can't wait to see what y'all create. And I'll catch you on the next tutorial. Music